It's that time of year. Oh my gosh, I almost spilled my coffee. Ooh. It's that time of year, my friends, where all your favorite content creators scramble to get their affiliate codes out there. I'm not u unique in that or, or alone in that, I guess. I want to talk through why that happens and the different ways you can support content creators and get, you know, and, and kind of just explain that situation as well as talk about what you want to see on the channel when the beta hits because i have some ideas but i also want to see like what you enjoy watching when the beta comes out you know is it features is it big teams is it whatever because you get about two weeks to put out content as a content creator before the official game launches so want to get your thoughts on all that it is a bit of a rambly video I think I might, may even say we're going to do games today because I was going to tag this on to a Reggio Adache video and I've decided to put it out separately. Let's go chat. All right, my friends. So it's always interesting. Um, I, I always try and be open and honest with my community about what happens behind the scenes. I've talked over and over uh, recently about trying to hit uh, 12,000 in revenue. Uh, for the year, which I'm not even going to come remotely close to. Uh, my wife's working on some other things to be able to earn some income directly for her, which lowers that amount that my business needs to generate. But I'm sure you saw, was by the time you see this, it'll be two days ago, um, where all of a sudden everybody, myself, Lelujo, um, Everyone but Loki Doki, who's like, I don't have an affiliate code. Use one of the other 769 content creators that has an affiliate code. Um, so here's here, here's what happens, right? There's different ways for you to get the game. And I do want to show you the way that it can support my channel. But I do think there are ways that you can get it for cheaper. And maybe there's a compromise in there. I don't know. So last year, um, almost everybody was connected to two game and uh I, I got my browser messed up here but it's the number two and the word game okay uh or maybe it's down yeah you can see down here and with that you go through a, an approval process right you're legitimate you give them your information yada 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 um and they give you where you know you can add up to your it's like you know Two game.com, blah blah blah, football manager 2021 slash, or you know, question mark gray hair gaming as as you know, I sent you there and I earn a commission for that. But they also let you put in your discount code. So if you put in the code gray hair, you'd get an additional 10% off, which I think the price is very similar in the UK, but I can't get to the UK store right now. I don't know, it's it's detecting my location via IP. But essentially this would take that $44.99, knock another $449 off of that if you remembered to put the discount code in when you click buy now okay and even with doing that the the creator earns a commission i honestly can't remember how much it is because what happened last year is the whole man united threatening to sue everyone in the universe uh, because of the logo packs and two game kicked everybody off like hey we don't want anything to do with this boop and kicked everybody off and that's when you saw uh, other content creators go to like CD key websites and whatever, because, you know, if you have a decent sized audience, if you have 10,000 people, um, and let's say you can get 5% of them to buy the game through your link. Right. And I think that's probably low for some of the content creators from a percentage standpoint, but if you can get 500 people to buy the game through you, and let's say, again, I don't, re I honestly don't remember what the commission was, but let's say you earn $4, um, you know, that's approximately 10%, right? Something like that, um, off of that. Or maybe it's like $2. I don't remember. Maybe it's like 5%. So you get 500 people to give you $2, right? Like that's significant. So like, that's why you see that there's not a lot of opportunity if you're a football manager or content creator to generate tons of revenue, right? From, a, from affiliate links, right? Like that's why people do like myself do merch and Patreon and whatever, and that's why I think a lot of people have gone to streaming because you've got Twitch Prime, which is literally a click of the button, doesn't really cost you anything if you're the the subscriber. Um, you've got people that are getting donations on Twitch and, and stuff like that from streaming, which again, I'm this is not saying, oh, shame on them. Like this is just how, if you are wanting to be a content creator in this space, this is how the business model works, okay? Um, but two game kicked everybody off last year, so 
people scrambled to find other affiliate programs they could be a part of. And I was just like, I, I'm good. I don't, I, I would like, I've used two game before I got the game through two game. Um, you know, I got other games through two games. So like I knew they were legitimate, and some of the other ones just made me personally a little nervous. But th I don't I don't fault people because it's like you're trying to generate revenue. And it's like this mad scramble because they announced the game and it's like you have a month uh, or two, maybe six weeks before the beta hits, you know, depending on when they announce it. And it's like, go, 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 go get your affiliate income. Because, again, there's not a lot of opportunity to do that in a given year. Um, apparently, some people have signed back up with two game. I have not personally. Um, I didn't think that was an option. I thought they kicked everybody off and said, no, thanks. Um, but you know, that's fine. So you can, you can, I think Lelujo's part of it. If you go, if you go, if you follow anybody on FM Twitter, uh, of the major content creators, they're going to have their links up, but I think lelujo has got his, um, which again, if you click on his link and then put his code in, you'll get essentially 10% off of whatever price this is. If you put the code in. So that's a way for you to save some, some dollars or pounds or euros or whatever. Um, I am personally signed up with Humble Bundle. Uh, hum Humble Bundle does charity support. So I don't have a code to give you to give you an additional 10% off, but essentially you can get the same price as you would get it on Steam or if you went to 2Game and you didn't use the content creator's code. So you pay $44.99, but there's not an additional 10% off on top of that. Um, so I'm trying to... I, I'll, I'll be glad to put a link in my description. I have to say for FTC guidelines in the United States that, yes, I do earn a commission for that. And I'm being upfront about that with you, my audience. So I'm going to put that in the description. Um, and as long as I'm allowed to have that, right? Because if, if you know, Foot Manager gets a weird place and kicks everybody off or sends a message out to Humble Bundle and Two Game or whatever kicks everybody off, I will remove that, um, you know, from my descriptions. So I'm letting you know that because it's almost like, I, again, I don't know if it's, I, I have, it's been a while since I joined Humble Bundle's affiliate program and I don't use it all the time. Um, I think they give 10% to charity. Uh, so like they've got a list of partners and so on and so forth. I personally support Charity Water. So I, I, I try and give mine to that. But essentially I'm telling you, if you click through my link, it's going to be more expensive than if you go to two game and use somebody else's link. I will say there is a downside not really a downside, but there's a theoretical downside to buying through Humble Bundle versus like buying through Steam directly. Now, I can't honestly, I'm, I'm not trying to be sneaky. I can't remember about two game and I'm not familiar with the other places. But like if you go to Steam right now and you buy the game, it go it's added to your library. Not, I mean, it's not, it's not downloaded, but like it appears like Foot Manager 2021 appears in your library. It's just like grayed out. If you buy through Humble Bundle, because I've had somebody in the community do that, thank you, Pekka, um, it says essentially early access is anticipated to be two weeks in advance, and you know you will get access when early access hits. It, like the verbiage is, I guess I could just read you the verbiage, right? Early access should be available around two weeks prior. Blah 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 blah. But it doesn't, because the game's not been released, it doesn't immediately give you a code that you could take to Steam and put in, you know, activate code and have it go ahead and load into your library. Like it gives you a, like a, a thanks for buying page and this will be available when it comes out. So when it comes out, you'll have to go to Humble Bundle to your order page and, and get the code then. So that is something to consider versus buying on Steam. So I just wanna be upfront about that. Or um, Golden FM, longtime content creator, uh, has found Shop2Net. Um, and it's, you know, he can get it down to 2585. Now I'm, I'm assuming, this is an assumption, but I'm assuming this is affiliate link for him. But I'm assuming that's lower than even if you use the, the like you said, the two game price with a, with a discount code. So I'm, what I'm trying to do for my audience is give you a way to get the game as cheaply as possible. Um, maybe if you use that link and it saves you $10 over the other prices, you kick a couple bucks my way on Patreon, but I can't obviously enforce that. Or you may just be like, I'm, I'm uh, what is the phrase I've heard people use in videos? Is it? it makes me nervous to use phrases that I don't fully understand skint like if you're really like tight on money it's like hey man it's a pandemic but I want the game so I'm just gonna get it as cheaply as I can this looks like an option and it's gold if you just go to you know twitter.com slash golden underscore fm you'll be able to find this and, and use that link and I'm sure that supports him even if it doesn't it's a great price so there's a couple different ways for you to to support the 
the content creators you love. This is my way. I'm not faulting you if you go get it as cheaply as possible. Um, and I, you know, I'm not saying, well, if you do that, make sure you you support me on Patreon, right? Because then it's essentially going to cost you the same. But that's what's going on. That's what the mad scramble is in the community right now because, you know, a lot of people are going to buy the game in advance, right? Like, um, I saw um, Cultured Left Foot, also a longtime content creator, was like FM21. And in general, yeah, especially this year, must be the most pre-ordered game with no features announced, right? Like, that's just weird. Like, usually there's like, hey, we're adding this and adding that, like, with any game. And then pre-orders come in, and, like, it's pretty much like, we're doing another game, and everyone's like, I'm in. <laughs> so, you know, if you want to wait, that's fine, too. But again, I'll put the uh, the links to this uh, in the description. Um, and I, I just want to share that's what's going on. I'm not going to be madly pumping it out there right um i will probably mention at the start of most of my videos to be like hey if you want to support the channel humble bundle has football manager i get supported by that and then be done like i'm not gonna go on twitter and constantly put it out there um i just i, I i'm kind of tired of it this year um and, and on top of that old lady plays uh left me a, a very I, a, like a constructive criticism comment and i appreciate that because um, I've been doing mid-roll ads in my videos, and for the longest time, if I had a 20 or 20, you know, let's say it's a 25 or 30 minute video, let's be realistic, I typically ramble, like right now, um, and I would click, you know, insert mid-roll ad, and it would put, like, it would figure out where the, where, almost like where I had two clips I, I put together, like, hey, and now we'll hop ahead for three days, we'll be right back, and it would, like, figure out, hey, let's put an ad there. And apparently it's gotten significantly worse. You know, YouTube recently announced that they were going to go to eight minutes. Um, or you, you, you could you could insert an ad if your video is eight minutes long uh, versus it used to be 10 minutes. So that to me indicates that YouTube's trying to generate more revenue. And I probably should have used that as an indicator to check what was going on. Um, because I, I literally just let it auto manage that because I'm like, I ah, just click auto manage and I don't have to worry about you know, me putting in the, the individual ads. And she said, it's gotten really bad. Like, it's like in the middle of you talking. It's like in mid-sentence, it breaks up the drama or, or whatever. Um, so, for the time being, I'm actually going to remove those. Because that's annoying. So, that is a risk for me as a content creator, especially when I'm trying to generate more revenue. Um, but I, I don't want my videos to be annoying either. Um... You know what? This is probably not going to be an episode where we where we have actual content. I'm probably just going to put this out as its own thing. Uh, now that now that I've rambled for ten minutes at this point, um, I do have a question for you. With FM twenty, tw oh, I, I'm used to being on that side of the screen and doing this, and now I'm over here and I got to go do that. Um, with FM twenty one, what do you want to see in the beta? And and I'm going to give you my thoughts on that. Generally speaking, it is smart as a content creator to do a Premier League team. Because that's the most popular league with the audience of FM21, right? I would I would be interested in knowing how many players are in the UK. When you look at your stats as a content creator in terms of geolocation, the UK is for all my videos. Um, the, the majority. Yeah, there's others, right? So I'm not saying... Ah, if you're in Ireland, I don't like you, right? But, like, I think that's where the biggest audience is. That makes sense. That's where the game's based, blah, blah, blah. Like, the, the people who make the game. So, in the beta, usually the beta comes out two weeks in advance. What do you want to see from a content standpoint? Last year, I did the U.S. Men's National Team um, to see if International had changed. I'm open to doing an international series later in this in FM21, um, but I unless they announce unless SI announces some major changes to international, I don't like I essentially want to see if anything's changed, and we'll see I guess what they announce. Uh, but obviously, there's a much smaller audience who's like, yeah, let's go look at the US Men's National Team, right? Versus let's go look at Arsenal, you know, or whatever. So I'm curious. I you know I have a couple thoughts. But I'd, I'd, I'd like to, before I, I say those, I'd like you to leave a comment right now, and you can pause the video, and let me know, you know, if I did something in the top league of England, or in the maybe the top two leagues in England, maybe that's of interest. 
what would you want to see? Is there a specific team that you'd want to see? Again, this is a two-week series. This is like a... Games, the, the beta's launched, two weeks, off you go. Let's test out, you know, different features, new additions to the game, whatever, and then actually start an actual series once the game officially launches. Now that you've had a chance to leave your comment, I'm torn between doing like... Um, you know, uh, an Arsenal or a Tottenham or maybe a Wolves. Like, not not Liverpool, not Man United. Everybody did Man United, and we know how that went. Um, not Man City, you know, but one of those, like, fourth to eighth place clubs from last, you know, from real life last season. Who knows what's going to happen this season. Um or doing like a Brighton, because I think that's kind of, or a Newcastle, West Ham, like the, the teams that, you know, that some of them have been comfortably mid-table, some of them have been like, oh, we survived by a couple points. Um, or doing like a Bournemouth, you know, can they bounce back up? So those are my thoughts. I'm curious what you would want to see. Um, and, and based on the content that you watch, you know, because I'm I'm assuming you watch other content creators besides me. What do you, what do you like about like in the beta period that comes out? What do you want to see? What what what's the type of content that you want to see? Um, and then we'll have a further discussion as as we get closer to FM21 about actual series, um, and experiments and stuff like that. Because I am gonna get back on the experiment train. I think this year, um, with using some of my patrons and and doing the the, the Wonder Kids throughout the world type situation. Uh, I'll commit to that. Now, that's dependent on the world not ending and my job not, you know, calming down a little bit because it has been insane this year um, and all that kind of stuff. So, that's what's going on. I appreciate your support. Old Lady Plays, I appreciate the feedback. So, I am going to drop the uh, mid-roll ads because, yeah, bec because that's annoying and I, I, I thought YouTube would do better with their algorithm and figuring out where to put it. So, that's my mistake for not having checked that after I started doing that. Um, I'm going to leave the ads on the front and the end of the video so that you, that you can watch the support. But I mean, honestly, we've talked about this before. If, if you if you pledge a, a dollar or a euro or a krona or whatever a month on Patreon, that's like watching a thousand ads, essentially, or maybe 500. But it's a big difference, right? So um, again, multiple way damn it, multiple ways that you can get the game for various discounts. Make sure you check those out. And uh, I'm excited to see what comes with FM21. We really don't know, aside from, you know, current update. I, I'm most interested, besides, like, obviously, any new features, but, like, how have they managed the schedule? Or is it just going to be, like, we're going to ignore the, pe the, the, the thing that's happening in the universe right now? Almost said it. Ooh. Um, and just have it look like a regular schedule? Or, you know, how, how easy or hard is it to code Hey, the season started much later. The transfer window for this window was later, but then theoretically for, you know, the 21-22 uh, season and, you know, moving forward in your saves, it goes back to normal. I'm really interested to see how that is managed. So what do you want to see out of the game? Thoughts, comments, whatever. We'll see you next time.